Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about data type conversion in copy activity of Azure Data Factory. So here in the input data set, we'll be having four columns. Okay, since it will be a CSV, so all the columns will be of string type by default. And in the output, we will land it into a Azure SQL database table. All these four columns will be then converted as per the expected data types. So we'll convert class and student ID column to integer type from string and percent marks into decimal, you can see, and the date of birth, DUB column from string to date. So we will demonstrate the same in data factory. So let's go to the Azure portal. And in the containers test input folder, I've placed this data type conversion.csv input file which has the same data as shown in the demo sheet. Now we'll go to the data factory. So we'll create a pipeline first, new pipeline. Let's name this as copy activity data type conversion. Okay. Now we'll take the copy data activity from the move and transform. And in the copy data, we will connect to the source. So we'll go to the second tab of source connection and we'll connect to the source data set, which will be this data type conversion.csv file. So it's inside the Gen2 storage account. We'll connect to the Gen2. It's a CSV file, so delimited text. We'll name it as copy input. Link service is already there and we'll Navigate to the path. It's inside the test input folder. The name is data type conversion.csv. First row has header, import schema null, click OK. So the source setting is done. We'll go to the sync tab and we will connect to the sync. And our sync here will be Azure SQL database where we want to create a table. So we'll write copy, output, link servers already there for the database, table name. Okay. So we want a new table to be created. So we'll click on edit here and we want it to be created inside the DBO schema as as copy data type conversion. Okay. Copy data type conversion is the table name. We don't want to import the schema. We'll set the schema in the mappings tab. This is done. Click OK. Here in the settings, we have different options. Table option. Auto create table. Because the table is not there inside the database. So you want it to be created. So we'll check this. And next, we'll go to the mappings tab. This is important. After setting the source and the sync, we have to go to the mappings tab and we have to import the schemas. Okay. So let's click on import schemas. This is the tab where we have to actually set the data types. Okay. Once we click on import schemas, we could see that the four columns have appeared here. Okay. Class student ID percent marks, ABC string, ABC string, ABC string, ABC string. String type is denoted as ABC. And in the destination also, you can see that the same columns with string ABC. Now we have to convert the data type. Since we do not have the option of changing the data type here, maybe in future Azure would add this functionality in the copy data activity itself to change the data type here. But as of the date, today's date, it is not present. So we can do it through the JSON. If you go to the right corner, top right corner, we have the option of JSON to view the JSON. View the JSON code representation of this source. So if we open this JSON, we can see all the input means the source data and the destination data. So let's click on the JSON. If you go down, you can see here under the mappings, so we can see the source, the name of the column, type of the column, physical type of the column. 
then for the same column sync okay sync means the target then the next column student id source sync percent marks source sync dob source sync okay and the data type is also present here but we want the data type to be as mentioned here in the sql database we want the we want different data types first two columns we have to convert to int that is integer so if we go here at the source level we have to change the type okay source so if we consider only this section so this is the first column called class which is having string type and physical type as string so we'll change here the type as int 32 let's say and the point to note is that it will not work if you just give int or if you do not give i in caps it will not work it will fail so you have to give like this you have to be careful about the case okay this is done at the source level we can change at the target level too so let's change it to int32 next is student id the type is int32 here also we want it to be int32 next column is percent marks which should be of decimal type should be mentioned as decimal at the sync level also we want it decimal okay here we can also add the option of precision and scale now the last column is dob that is date so we'll write here date time okay d and t caps in caps here in decimal d was capital now in dob date time we give here and in the target also date time so we did for all the four columns let's click ok so we clicked ok now we'll go back and to the mappings tab we could now see for the class it is showing string but here it is one two three one two three that is integer why it is showing string here as well as here because if we go to the json the physical type we have not changed and it is not needed you could change along with writing here int32 you could write here too okay but for the code to execute properly this type must be changed so we'll go back so 123123 one, denotes integer percent marks e to the power x that is decimal type dob you can see here the calendar symbol that stands for the date okay as well as in the destination we have changed so it is showing us integer integer decimal and date now since we have this column date if we open this type conversion setting we have this date time format okay if you hover over it format string when converting between dates okay so here we have to explicitly mention the date which is coming from the source so in our source it is dd forward slash mm forward slash yyyy so we'll go back here and mention dd mm yyyy okay so we define the date time format here we have done all the settings in the mapping tab of the copy activity now we will validate the copy data activity and perform a debug run so the copy data activity is running it succeeded in 10 seconds we'll go to the sync open the data set to see the table name it is copy data type conversion now we'll go to the sql database we'll refresh and search for this table copy data type conversion select top few rows and we could see here two columns third column percent marks dob and if you further open down the details of the table here you can see class int student int percent marks decimal and dobs date time too okay 
So we have changed the data type from the source CSV string to the expected or the required data types in the target. Okay, from the string CSV we have converted to integer, decimal, and date time. I hope you have got the idea of data type conversion in copy data activity in the mapping tab of it. So thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.